The Prelude of Rest, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong in us. Always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5, the creation uh, account. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Uh, I don't know how many years ago it was, but I decided I need to have more order in my life. And what I did is I started a pattern of preparing for the next day the night before. So I lay out all of my clothes for the next day the night before. I prepare my coffee the night before. I have everything ready to go that I'm going to need for any projects that I'm going to do the next day the night before. That way, when I get up, I can hit the ground running. And so, for example, when my alarm goes off, within like 26 minutes, I can be punched in at work. I mean, literally, I have everything prepared that night before. And really, I build it on this biblical pattern in Genesis chapter 1. Because God, God's day, it says the evening and the morning were the first day. So God's day starts with the evening before, which I think prioritizes preparation and rest so that you enter into the next day prepared. So as we reflect on the divine order of creation, we find this profound principle woven into the fabric of time itself. The day begins not with the sunrise, but with the sunset. The sacred rhythm established by a creator teaches us that preparation for what is to come starts in the quiet moments of the evening. In the hush of twilight, we're invited to lay down the burdens of the day that has passed and turn our hearts towards the promise of a new day. It is in this sacred space that we can align our attitudes with the peace that passes understanding, setting our intentions and plans under the watchful care of the Almighty. Just as the Lord ordained rest before work in the creation narrative, so too we must embrace rest as a starting point of our endeavors. By resting in God's presence, we recharge our spirits and awaken to a day already blessed by his grace. And as we follow the example of our creator who rested on the seventh day, we acknowledge that our strength is renewed not in ceaseless toil, but in restorative rest. Let us therefore begin each day the night before, casting our cares upon him who cares for us, rising with the dawn, ready to step into the divine story he has written for us for the pattern of creation. We find the blueprint for a life lived in harmony with the creator's design, a life of purpose peace and yes rest mighty father god i thank you for this incredible concept that's so often overlooked help us to enter into it and to follow your divine creative pattern for our lives lord i just thank you for showing this to me some years ago and i pray that you'd help those under the sound of my voice to begin to move into these rhythms of rest and creativity that you've designed for us help us god to be your people for this place and time in jesus name Amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.